welcome to every one of you god bless you um if this is your first time coming in my name is Shansa Kabe, and i'm always here to pray with you and also to share the word of the lord and this morning i want to share something that is going to bless you um the lord is directing me towards an atmosphere in a particular house a particular home and i want us to get this word and pray on it as well we are definitely going to be praying together on this very very important you know, in every home, there is always an atmosphere, depending on that which you want to see happen. It's always good to partner with the Lord, you know, to get that atmosphere that you want to see, that you want to have in your home, in your house, around your children, around your spouse. And the Lord has been speaking to me recently about certain kind of atmospheres and presence that are not of him in a particular home. You feel like in your house, there is a presence that is not of the Lord. And this atmosphere, this presence is causing a lot of issues. And God wants you to handle these things. You know, each time God um, reveals something to us, it's because he wants us to handle it. And he wants to come in. He wants to intervene. And so I want you to pray with me today. And you are going to do these things also as led by the Lord. And I believe it's going to definitely help you to get rid of whatever it is. Demonic, evil, witchcraft, whatever it is that is not of the Lord. Every dark atmosphere. Whatever it is that has not been planted by God in your home around you. I believe that as you partner with me. You believe in the word of the Lord and you pray God is going to step in and he will remove it. And so let's partner in the place of prayers, joining our faith together for your home and that which concerns you. But before we get there, I want you to do these things. Number one, make sure that there are things in that home you know um that everything in that home or there are some things in your home that are not necessarily connected to the enemy make sure that you don't have certain things that are attracting demons into your home attracting the presence of evil demons you know into your home please make sure you don't have things like that it's very important a lot of us take things for granted and we feel like the spiritual realm is not real but it's so real and more real than you think and there is an order in need there are portals there are open doors also in the realm of the spirit and so when we are working with god we have to be sure of these things very very important even as i'm speaking there's somebody your name is evans i don't know if it's proper mentioning it in this video but i believe the lord is letting that happen for a reason god is speaking to you also that the atmosphere that is not of him in your home is going to change and he's going to step in now these things have to be removed and when you remove these things make sure you have an altar an altar is not necessarily a setup it can be even your room an altar is just a place where you need the presence of the lord to be in yes he dwells on the inside of you but there is what is called an altar also that altar is a meeting point is a connection it's a source it's a place where there is power Power comes out of fire is built. Fire comes upon the place of sacrifice, fellowship, meeting with the Lord. And so it must not necessarily be a place like it was in the days of old. We found Abraham building altars, Jacob building altars, and the people who serve the Lord. Our days, nowadays, you can build an altar just by regularly fellowshipping, worshipping, praising God in a particular place. Hallelujah. Spending time with him, showing up when you are supposed to. So make sure there is an altar and there is fire on that altar in your home. Very, very important. Now I'm seeing some things the Lord is showing me in the spirit. We have things like cloths. And even jewelries that have the mark of the devil, things that are not of him. If you know that and the Lord has opened your eyes to such things, please don't take it lightly. Each time we take things lightly, we joke with them. We are actually welcoming the manifestation of these things in our lives. Because what you tolerate, you cannot change. What you tolerate, you cannot change. And so go back, check these things. Is it godly? A day of God? If not, remove them. 
let your home be cleansed let the atmosphere be cleansed hallelujah especially when it comes to your children also we have to be careful the things we buy for them nowadays we have a lot of brands a lot of things coming up even on dresses always make sure you write you read what is written on those dresses it's gonna you know if you start taking note from now it's gonna surprise you the things that they write on dresses you know like the things the words that they put on dresses it's gonna it's gonna shock you what you will see a lot of times it's because we are blind to these things and so we don't really get to see these things but when your eyes become open and you take note of these things you begin to see them so we build altars um and build them also for those who haven't done that that the fire of god is there the presence of the lord remember your house should be filled with god's presence if it dwells on the inside of you you are his temple your home should carry that atmosphere as well so let the presence of god fill that home hallelujah take anointing oil you can always anoint your home anoint your doorposts and speak the word of the lord you sword you know as a medium of cleansing also not believing in the oil or the sword but the power of god that is at work upon those things and then you clean your home hallelujah Hallelujah. Very, very important. And after doing this, I'm holding your hands in the spirit, believing and trusting God that every atmosphere, negative energy, demonic presence that is not of God will disappear, will flee from your home in the name of Jesus. And the rest you need, the peace you need, the comfort you need shall come in in Jesus' name. The presence of the Lord will saturate that atmosphere, saturate that environment, and you will be filled with his blessings in the name of jesus your home is covered with the blood of jesus and no weapon from against you shall prosper in jesus name from today your home is blessed with the blessings of the lord in the name of jesus the light of god is upon that home the presence of the lord the fire of the lord surrounds it the angels of god are with you in jesus mighty name Amen. Amen. The Lord bless you. Keep you. Let his face keep shining upon you. And if this was a blessing, please don't forget to like it and share also. It's definitely going to inspire and enlighten someone. So don't take this lightly. Share with someone. It's going to be a blessing. God bless you as you do that in Jesus' name. Some of us, even as I'm speaking, this is coming to my spirit. You're going to discover some things that you thought were normal in your home. Some things you're going to discover these things. As you discover them, remove them. Get rid of them hallelujah get rid of them that is divine intervention for you god is going to turn things around it may you know shock or surprise us to know that certain battles we are faced with they are not necessarily coming from outside but from within as well from within from the space you find yourself in the place that you are planted and so before you begin to search elsewhere search outwardly also search inwardly make sure that the inward part is good ready to to go before you can start searching outwardly god bless you thank you so much we are going to continue again in another video by his patient grace and i love you hope to see you shortly don't forget to like remember share subscribe if you want you you're welcome to join the family love you and i hope to see you shortly by his patient grace